Hello everyone, I'm Ben Irwin, and today, why are we so concerned impeachment will be used as a weapon against future presidents? To explore, let me to explain the news to you. It's stupid Americans. All right, welcome to the show. So there have only been three impeachment trials in the history of the country, and there have been many aspects of the trial of Donald Trump that have made this one unusual. No impeachment trial follows a standard template, but one argument that has been made in the Clinton and Trump examples is that impeachment will now be used as a weapon against future presidents. So now that the parties have been flipped versus in the 90s, does that argument still hold up? I'm back with my panel of everyday Americans to find out. Joining me to discuss is our senior elitist reporter, Stacey Keller, senior troll reporter, Joey Maga, and Chief Jesus Correspondent, Father James McKenna. All right, Joey, I'd like to start with you. Folks on your side of the aisle make the claim that impeachment will be used against presidents going forward. Trump himself even says this. So what's your justification? Uh, the president tells me he did nothing wrong, so I believe him. It was all perfect. I mean, how many of us have ever been on a call with the Ukrainian president? No one? Okay. So how do you know it wasn't perfect? Trump was the only one who took the call, and so he did it better than anyone else. Hmm. That's a really dumb take. Stacy, care to respond? Wow, Joey's brain must be busted because that's the biggest load of horseshit I've ever heard. Trump withheld aid from Ukraine. That was illegal and defied Congress because they have the power of the purse. What Trump did was against our national interests and hurt our credibility as a country. But what did Clinton do? He got a blowy in the oval. Big deal. Well, then he lied about it. Sure, but what's a consensual BJ among lovers? <laughs> Earth to Stacy. Blowers were a crime in the 90s. Oh, Jesus, unvaccinated Christ. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said. All right, all right, focus, people. Father, I want to bring you in because I want to hear where you stand on the morality of all this. Thanks, and may the farce be with you. Huh? I find this case highly immoral. Sexual relations of any kind are forbidden outside of marriage, let alone in the Oval. Trump's impeachment. Oh, oh right. You know, whenever you ask yourself what is immoral and what isn't, also ask yourself, what moral contortions can I do that will justify my action? What can I get away with? Is that really what you teach in the church? From what I know of Jesus, that's not very do unto others like of you. Well, that's the beauty of his teachings. You can twist an argument any way you want to make something okay. Look at the outcome of this impeachment trial. Trump just claimed ignorance. The end justified the means because you can't claim something is immoral when you don't know it's wrong. That is stunningly absurd. But it sounds like a well-reasoned argument, no? Definitely not. But let me get back to my point. Look, the tool of impeachment is a nuclear option. Everyone likes to say it's a political weapon, and they're right. It's a political process that's on the table to prevent behavior like what we see from Trump. Want to extort a country for your political benefit? Get impeached. Want to be a criminal? Get impeached. But politics and culture in this country are fucked five ways from Sunday, and that's why this show exists. The trouble is we haven't elected people with the balls to use this weapon when it's needed. Republicans are castrated and stupid Americans allow that to be the case. Democracies are fragile, and the balances of power is very, well, not balanced. Yes, three of the four presidential impeachment cases have been in the last roughly 47 years of our country's history. Maybe it's because our parties are divided and Washington is broken. But maybe it's because us, the voters, are electing lower quality people into office. During times like these, maybe we'll soon get to a point where we expect more of our leaders. Maybe there will be a demand for unity in our country. Maybe we the people will start to care again. What do you think? Joey's the fuck and I hate him. You never Trumper, you go to hell. How dare you? I'm not stupid, you asshole. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, 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 you still have to subscribe. Just when you've lost all hope in politicians and the media, why not listen to me, the guy who went to art school? 
subscribe, and never miss an episode.